After the launch of the Kira EV in 2011, Kira Motors Corporation embarked on developing a flagship vehicle, the Kira Smack. This concept car, made in Uganda, is a hybrid powered by a rechargeable battery and an internal combustion generator. This design makes it both environmentally friendly and fuel efficient. Designed as a five-seater sedan, the Kira EV Smack is a front-wheel drive vehicle with a maximum speed of up to 140 kilometers per hour. They have three cars out now, Kira Motors, and this is the Kira Smack, the one I'm seated right in. It, it's such an important and proud moment for Uganda. As a matter of fact, when I sit in this car, I feel, I feel nationalistic. I feel such a patriot. I feel I'm supporting what is Ugandan. As if, a few years from now, we shall be having cars written on made in Uganda. Ladies and gentlemen, that is how easy it is. So we are shooting from the Mandela National Stadium. And because this car is such a big national asset, I decided, how about I also come with one of the more popular t-shirts one of the more popular t-shirts in the country, uh, that is Brigada Krenz. I'm just trying to look patriotic on today's shoot. All right, now since uh, this car is just one piece in the country, it hasn't been on the streets, I have to confess to you guys, I don't know anything, anything about this car. So what we've done is bringing the experts to take us through the specifications of this car. And joining me on the set today is Richard Madanda, who is, of course, the Director of Product Development, Kira Motors. Thank you very much for joining us. Uh, so nice meeting us. you, Andrew. Co congratulations, man. Congratulations. Look at this. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. you. Guys, we have a car in this country. We're also very proud of it. Before we go any far, they are calling it the Kira Smack. Smack. Why is it the Kira Smack? Well, we had a group of students who inspired us. Uh, those were from, uh, I think, a popular school, high school, called SMAC. And because they actually had a lot of ideas about uh, hybrid cars and so on, and we worked with them at the initial concept. Which of these body parts is made here? Well, as you can see, actually, the entire body is actually uh, fabricated here. Mm. Uh, the tires, you'd expect us to buy them, yeah. so we don't make tires here. And uh, the interior, the seats you're actually seated on, are all made here by our artisans. Yeah. Now, now in, in 2015, um, uh, I was so lucky to be in uh, Congo Brazzaville for the All Africa Games. And, and, and the, the vans they were using inside the, yep. the arena yes. were electric vans. Yes. But then you'd have to drive, then they have to charge. Yep. Um, yep. And for me, it looked a risk in a country where the power isn't that good, uh, where uh, the charging areas aren't that comfortable. Uh, what did you do with this car to make sure it's, it's not fully down to the batteries? So, so to mitigate those issues of uh, charging ports and so on, we tried to make this one a hybrid car. It, uh, you can run on electric as much as you have charge. Yeah. And when you don't actually have charge, you can engage the, the engine mode. Yeah. And of course, our engine mode it doesn't run the wheels. It runs as a generator to charge your batteries and also power your car. Yeah. So you can actually go as far as you want. Look, oh, uh, there's so many things, so many things we can discuss about this car. But, but let's talk about its power, uh, yep. because I love power. Yep. Car fans love power. Yep. You want to feel the power of a vehicle. What's the power of this one? If you're on a straight road, uh, what's the power and what is maximum speed? Well, I'll give you the, the specs, maximum speed. When you're on only electric, that's, yeah. you have only one system powering the car, you can go as far as uh, the top speed is 85 kilometers per hour. Now, if you have both the electric and the, the uh, conventional system, the engine, yeah. firing the car, you can go up 150 kilometers per hour. The interior is spacious and fitted with accessories you'll find in most modern sedans, including a keyless entry system, push-button start, leather seats, and a multimedia system. This entire body of this car is made here by our artisans and technicians. The finishing, the bends and everything, the curves are all achieved using hand. The interior of this car, all this sewing and uh, knitting together of everything is made here. The seats are all made here. We have a state-of-the-art infotainment system in the vehicle for information and also entertainment. It is a push-to-start vehicle. You don't need a car, uh, car key. This is a traditional keys. As long as you have your this is actually your key. If it's not here, you can't start the car, so it's very important. In addition to the traditional instrument cluster, we have 
uh, this is called a display, a cam view display. It gives you vital, it feeds the driver with vital information about the systems of the car, the state of the battery, the state of the motor. So this is very important for the driver, it's a driver's aid. The driver can know when the battery is about to get finished before it can switch on to the other systems and all that information. As you've seen, this is a proof of concept vehicle. Most of these systems have not been manufactured or there's no large scale production of this car. Everything is one of its kind in, in Uganda. So some of these things, you may not be able to see them in vehicles you see out there because it's a proof of concept. But, but uh, and, and I know this is completely out of, out of range. This is just for the benefit of, of the Ugandans out there. If uh, you were to price this car, if? Well, I would say this car right now is priceless because it's the one of its kind. But we intend to start producing cars of this, uh, this kind, sedans, and they will be at a price at around 25,000 US dollars. Yeah. For a new car, for a new this car. is really cheap. For a new car made in Uganda. <laughs> yeah, this is really cheap. Well done. I tell you what, it's, uh, it's, it's, it's a very nice feeling, very nice feeling to sit in a car that you know is manufactured here in Uganda, or at least assembled here in Uganda. I, I, feel, I feel so Ugandan. I, I, feel, I feel so happy about it. The possibility of transportation technology being locally engineered in Uganda will inspire Ugandans to accomplish more. With full-scale production set to begin in 2018, Kira Motors is on course to provide Ugandans with a quality product mix of vehicles made in Uganda.